BMI is the ratio of weight to height. So basically, how much you weigh compared to how tall you are. This image shows us some recommended BMI scores. This can be a great starting point to see if you're overweight, underweight, or obese, but it does have its limitations. BMI doesn't take into account your age, gender, bone, or muscle mass. For example, people with more muscle mass might actually show up as overweight, even though that weight is coming from a healthy place. So it's important to look at your BMI while considering your other metrics to get the full picture. Since we can't change our height, we wanna focus on changing our weight to improve our BMI. And slow and steady is the name of the game. Small and consistent changes to everyday behaviors will build up into big improvements over time. To improve your BMI, try making one change for exercise and one for nutrition. An example for nutrition would be cooking earlier in the evening so you don't end up snacking while you cook. Snacks can derail an otherwise healthy diet because they're usually calorically dense. There are about 200 calories in an average cookie. So an open box of those while you're hungry can undo a lot of your hard work. Cooking earlier in the evening allows you to get full on the healthy foods instead of on the calorically dense snacks. An example for exercise could be taking the stairs instead of the elevator. Not everybody's a gym person and that's okay. There's lots of ways to inject a mini workout into your day. And these mini workouts are great at boosting your metabolism and your mood throughout the day. These are some examples of some small and sustainable changes that will make a huge difference in managing your BMI.